Ladies and gentlemen, dear students, it's an honor and a privilege to welcome you to the 21st edition of the International Student Congress of Biomedical Sciences. The professionals of tomorrow, which is you, have to deal with a completely different population of patients than the generation of medical professionals in the past. It's not about getting older, it's about getting older in a healthy way. It's not only a great scientific experience. What you will notice is that you will make friends for life in the coming two days. Similar to the fact that you need a transistor for the radio, now we need a switch which is not switching electrical currents, which is capable of switching fluid currents, fluid flows. And not only switching, but also manipulating fluid flows on a very tiny scale. Now this is the key technology that is really behind our work to cultivate cells on chips, to make tiny pieces of tissue on a chip. I was impressed and I think he, will, he is a good, great researcher and I'm surprised that in Netherlands can found that special chip like that. Really interesting, all the nanotechnology stuff, it's so new and there's so much out there and it, there's just so much unknown so it's really interesting to hear a bit more. the fact that they're all organized into sections like so you can really relate to them and the uh, congress is very well organized this is my first time here i've been working the workshops because uh, i like the subjects and i really think this is important The whole world is there in Groningen right now <laughs> and the whole world is presented in Groningen. We also have social yeah. gatherings and like, exchange of cultures and everything. Exactly. So people come together and it's uh, just a really nice experience. I've been in neural station. Also I see the other type of perspective of the people and also the other ideas they have. Something that you probably aren't expecting in this auditory is that PCA also causes heart damage. How is that? Let me explain to you. Globally, more than one million people get colorectal cancer annually, so it's an important issue. 
This is where inflammation comes into play. A lot of research found that inflammation plays a big role in the development of diabetic nephropathy. I suppose uh, uh, everyone in this auditory knows what is diabetes, but still, let's remember that it's a um, chronic disorder of metabolism. I'm very enthusiastic to uh, have the opportunity here to present some of the research that uh, we are currently performing and actually to give you an overview about uh, well, vascular tissue engineering, uh, indeed creating new blood vessels. It's also exploring new options, or seeing new things, and it is new experiences basically. It's doing our new experiences, all these things, it's really a good and nice thing. Beautiful city, very nice city. <laughs> really like small town, you can go everywhere by walking. Absolutely fantastic, it's huge. Um, there are so many people here from so many different countries and it's so well organized. It's really impressive and the committee did a fantastic job. To close off the first Congress Day, 400 participants enjoyed a delicious dinner at Wesley Estate. scientists are really needed. It's you, the MDs of the future, that sees the patients and thinks this treatment should be better. Ribosomes exist in every living cell. Bacteria, fish, cockroach, flower, orange, whatever, and human beings too. to the Poster Research Award, and it goes to Adrian Wayne. It was a, an excellent opportunity to meet uh, new people. has almost come to an end. It was an exciting week full of science, fun and discussions.